Hey guys, Paloma here and welcome to the Bates House. So today I'm coming at you with a King Dollar haul. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you don't know what King Dollar is, it is a dollar store that is in the Houston area and I do believe in some surrounding areas and everything is $139 in the store unless marked otherwise. Sometimes that means you can get more than one item for $139 or you can get one item for $139 or something is priced at a different price altogether. That being said, I go in there week to week and I take pictures of all the things that are new to the store and I post them to my social medias for you guys real time. That way you know what's out there and you know what to get whenever you stop and make a trip. Also, you can hang on to the end of the video where I post more pictures of things that I did not get. But for now, let's dive in starting off with these adorable two piece lemon teacup sets. These are so precious and right on trend and actually the best part about these teacups and saucers is not only are you getting the two pieces for 139 but they are also a department store brand these are blue harbor teacups and plates they are microwave and dishwasher safe they are the 2017 edition and they are so adorable and the funny thing is when i had my yard sale i actually pieced pieces together that were in a set just like this with the twine to keep them together i thought that was so precious anyway that means that all of these were roughly six dollars and i couldn't be more happy with that next i found these candle impressions led candles now i wasn't sure exactly what was going on here whenever i first saw them but i did know that a candle this size which stands about eight inches tall and roughly about i don't know maybe three and a half inches wide four inches wide it's a huge candle these sell for a lot of money and these actually come with these three bangles that I finally figured out are to change throughout the seasons. There are three bangles, a green one, a red one with snowflakes, and then an orange one with, I believe, fall leaves. I was so excited to find out that you change these out for the season and you do it all with one candle and the entire set only costs you $1.39. The best part is that these candles actually run on a timer system where they only turn on and off on the times that you set them. That is awesome. The packaging is very sturdy, so you can actually reuse this packaging through your seasonal changes whenever we're more in the maybe spring or you have your year-round decor out and you don't need them. They have their own packaging that will make them nice and secure until you need them again during the holidays. Next is this gorgeous Table Trends Table Runner. It's 14 by 70 inches and this beautiful botanical print. It is a canvas fabric with floral print all over it and I absolutely love this Table Runner. It is so pretty. It's by the Arley Company and there's no way this retails for a buck 39 anywhere it was sold previously it is made in india and i think that it is a very well constructed piece what i love about it is that the other side is a solid black canvas fabric and it is so pretty so even if you wanted to use it as a double-sided piece you could totally do that Sticking with some fabric-y type things, I found these monogram kitchen towels. They are 17 inches by 28 inches from Bed Bath & Beyond. They retail for $3.99 and I picked up two with a B because of course, Bates House. I thought it was so cute and I'm going to be so excited to have these out on display. I do have a somewhat woodsy theme when it comes to our Christmas decor. I like a lot of natural elements like wood decor and things like that. So having the little wreath on there with the pine cones and the berries and have a muted wreath on there, I really love this look. It is simple white on the rest of the towel and I think these are going to make a great Christmas decor addition to my kitchen. I am so excited for the new holidays to be coming through guys. So excited. Now sticking to the holiday season, found this huge ocean spray jellied cranberry sauce. This thing is ginormous size. It is six pounds, five ounces, my guys. Like this is caray. It has a handle for the container. It's a resealable lid. Now, to be honest with you, this could literally be gone in two days. Between my husband and Boogie, the little one, 
they could devour this like it's nobody's business. So I am not quite sure if maybe I'm going to separate some out for the holidays and then let them go to town on the rest. I'm not positive. So we'll see. Either way, the hubby and Boogie were super ecstatic to see that I brought this home with me. And they were like, um, why'd you only get one? <laughs> <laughs> so that being said, I know something like this retails for way more than a buck 39. So I was really happy to get this, especially because it made them happy. Moving on, I found some recipe books. This one is Build Your Own Sandwiches. It has more than 60,000 sandwich combinations in it. And I really like the layout of this book. I thought it was super creative. The hubby is a big sub fan. He loves different styles of subs and sandwiches. So I thought this was kind of a cute addition to add to our kitchen collection. Now, will I be making anything from this? Honestly, probably not. I'll let him experiment with it because he also likes to cook and put things together. But what I like is that you can flip through the different sections and they give you so many different ways to mix and match all the different varieties, making your own personal style sandwich. And then I got this one because I loved it. It's called Recipe Revival, Southern Classics Revived for Modern Cooking. And it is um, by the creators of the Southern Living Magazine what caught my attention about this book is the fact that it looks very vintage on the cover. It looks like a lot of the covers of old recipe books from not way back in the day, but some time ago that I actually have a collection of. And each page has gorgeous imagery. That's what I love about recipe books is whenever they capture your, I don't know, they capture you with the pictures and then they show you how to make it and plate it and display it. And it's just so gorgeous you can tell all of us in the social media world we know what it takes to set up a good picture so a lot of work went into something like this and I just fell in love with it when I saw it now of course these books do not retail for a dollar 39 pretty much anywhere you would find them in any bookstore any anything so when you see them in dollar stores, it's definitely the best time to take up the opportunity to get them. You can see that the original retail price for this one was $16.95. Now that is a pretty penny and it's probably good for someone who's interested in buying it and actually using it for the moment. This one is $34.95 guys. I mean, it's just it's just crazy but to get them for the buck 39 i was so happy about it and even look at the little display on the back i mean how not so vintage vibes going on next i found this color art therapy for stress color art set it's an adult coloring book and pencils i was actually pretty surprised uh, about this little set i thought this would make a great gift set for anyone that likes adult coloring or even for the kiddos as a uh, small presents here and there it's perfect for your gift closet for a random grab and go kind of gift as well. It's really pretty and adult coloring is very trendy even for children because you get to kind of explore their or they get to release in their imagination and get all these different pictures to look really cool. I know my boys actually love adult coloring books to where I have to keep my stuff away from them. <laughs> but that's a look at the book and then you have the 12 pencils and what I like about the pencils is that there's a little bit of neon in the color variety. I thought that was really nice. So for a buck 39 it's a great gift. Moving on, I found this. This is the Papermate handwriting pens for kiddos. And Boogie is officially in the first grade. So now his writing is very important. We've worked on it before, but I wasn't as hard on him as I am on the older boys because their writing is very important when it comes to grading and stuff like that. And I feel like if they take the time to write neatly, they'll process information better as well. So this is what it looks like. It says designs for design for kids, durable tip, thick around shape that is easy to hold, washable black ink, fun barrel colors, and so on. And I think it's a really great option for the little ones. And Boogie is always talking about how he's big enough to write with a pen. So I thought, well, you know what, maybe he's right. If he thinks he's big enough, then we can go ahead and get something for him that he might find to, uh, a way to make better use of than the smaller regular pens. Moving on, I found some shipping goodies. If you don't know, I actually have a vintage Etsy shop where I like to sell a lot of vintage dishes and decor pieces and really cool, random, unique things. Feel free to check it out. It is under the Bates House, one word, Bates House, on Etsy. 
And these tapes, now I do have a quick review, and unfortunately, they are the, um, what is that? I forgot the brand. Anyway, they are a fragile label tape, and they're nice, but they don't adhere too well to cardboard. But I found a quick solution for that. What I do is I put the tape down first before closing my boxes completely and I put clear tape over it. So at least it still serves the purpose and it does adhere a little bit that I can just kind of layer on some regular tape and keep the big fragile letters on there because it is very important. Moving on, I've started working on the hashtag Bates Family Workshop outside in our pool room. We're converting it. So I decided to pick up some of these safety goggles. They are a soft vinyl uh, glasses, so they're not a hard plastic. They actually are very flexible, and they do have air holes on both of the side areas and on the top of the little goggles. And I feel like these would be really nice and comfortable on your face because, again, it's not a super hard plastic. They do flex, and they'll flex nicely around your face and won't be digging into your skin so much. Also, with each side of the bands, they allow you to adjust it. So I thought for $1.39, this was a pretty good quality product to be able to throw into my workshop when I'm working on my refurbished, refurbished furniture and I can have it hanging with my supplies. I'll give you guys a peek in there eventually. Not much has gone on yet. We've only started uh, putting pieces in there. And then I got another one of the clear uh, un Unilens um, glasses. These are pretty standard. It's just the one that goes all the way over your for your eyebrows. Like there's no break in between so that the dirt doesn't fall straight between the eyebrow area um, into your eyes. It keeps it kind of out of that area and protected. And then it has the side panels as well. So I really like those. I decided to add those to my um, workshop. Also, sticking to the workshop, I got the Norton Premium 80 Grit Coarse sandpaper now this is for moderate removal they do have grit that is a lot more chunkier than this as well but i thought this was a nice medium because i do get older pieces but they're not layered or caked on already with multiple layers of paint they're usually their original finish so that doesn't require as much grit it doesn't require as much of the harshness to remove so i thought this would be a really good option there's three nine by eleven pieces in each pack that's really good as well because the hubby said they're about five to seven dollars depending on where you get them in your regular big box like hardware stores so to get them for a buck 39 really makes me want to go back and get a few more so i can have it stocked up in my uh, workshop because you can cut them to size and use them however you like moving on sticking to kind of outside stiff i found the mountain falls 70 spf sunblock and everybody tells me every single time check the expiration date don't use it past the expiration date these are good until summer of 2020 guys so it's okay we're all gonna be okay it's a dollar 39 a can you know i know you can't even get a one can for the combination price of all four of these like sunblock at a high spf um is very expensive and when you have 50 kids like we do and then there's my husband who's ginormous size and then there's me we go through a lot of sunblock during the year we also use it during uh, fall season or any other season when the sun is out and we're going to be outside a lot we still use it because the sun is still the sun so it still has the same harshness if you're not careful Moving on, the last piece that I found was this Adrian Vitadini bracelet. It's like a bead bracelet. It is very well made. And this is one of the products that I talk about that King Dollar gets. They get a ton of department store product. They get so many things that you would not expect to find in a dollar store. And they don't just get a box or a case or three cases of these items. They get a mass amount of these items and it's very exciting to go in there and know that you can count on them to have really great product all of the time this is a really good quality bead bracelet i know my mother loves stuff like this i think i'm just going to gift it to her it's perfect for the fall season it's got a gorgeous combination of gray and this kind of champagne -y nude color that really rich brown almost topazy color i think it's beautiful 
So that is pretty much it for this King Dollar haul, guys. I do hope that you enjoyed. I love going there week to week to show you what's new to the store on my Instagram. Also on Instagram, I post the Google Map location of the of the location that I shop at. It's always the first picture of the day's feed of pictures. So all you have to do is go to hashtag King Dollar Houston or hashtag King Dollar and you're more likely to find it there. All that being said, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. You can comment down below, let me know what your favorite find is or take a look at the pictures and let us know what your favorite picture item is. Be sure to share this video with anyone that lives in the area or is close to a King Dollar or just kind of is curious about branching out to dollar store shopping. I mean, it could be helpful in many different ways. You can subscribe if you haven't already. And for those of you that already have and are a big part of this family, thank you so much for supporting me over the years. Thank you so much for leaving your feedback and all that good stuff. And you can follow me on my social medias, on my Instagram and my Facebook group at The Bates House. Again, my Etsy shop will be linked down below for you guys. And for now, that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!